Hey guys, so today we are doing a short video review for this brand new toaster that I got from iCock. Um, it is a small two slice toaster, as you can see. It does not, it literally does not take up much space on your countertop. I can actually push it back here and you can see that it fits into this nice little cubby between my spice rack and my stove. Um, I'll pull it back up. This, this is the first time that I'm using this toaster. See, the bread is not toasted. Um, so we're actually going to use it on camera and give it a shot. Um, over here are the settings. You can actually uh, turn the knob down there and it's numbered. So you can actually, you know, adjust how dark you want your toast. So I'm going to set mine to a four. I don't like my toast too crunchy. Okay, and then you simply deploy. Oh, well, stay. Okay. And now it's going. Um, there are little buttons right here. Obviously, if I were to push this button, and I'll push this to show you, it will, it cancels the toast, it pops it up. So we'll put that back up. I'm not sure what the reheat button does, but there is a nice little function here for defrost. Um, so if you're taking frozen bread out of your freezer and need to use it in a hurry, you don't have to wait 50 years for it to defrost. De de defrost. Yeah, defrost. Um, we'll take a look in here. This is, it is a coil toaster. Um, so obviously you see the, uh, the elements heating up on the sides. They glow red. Who pretty. And we're toasting. And we're toasting. Um, the bread fits in there pretty easily. The slots are pretty wide. Um, you could use this for bagels, uh, toaster strudels, you know, um, plenty of room in there. I'm just using, uh, generic white bread right now. And we're still toasting. Dun, dun, dun. My hubby apparently thinks he knows what the reheat function does, so he's going to tell us about that now. Well, you know, if I didn't tell, you would ignore the function, as well as the fact that this thing has a nifty tray underneath that slides out in the back so you can clean it easily. I would have got to that. But... The reheat function is for those lovely people, like, you know, mothers and people who are in a rush and forget to eat, you know. How often have you set a piece of bread down, set a bagel down, set a muffin down, gotten distracted, and when you go to eat it, it's cold? And no one cares for cold bagel. You put it in, hit the reheat button, and it does exactly that. Reheats it so you're not eating cold bagel. Well, that is pretty cool. And we're still toasting. I'm going to try not to get too excited when it pops up and drop my phone. I think this thing's higher heat. You may want to cancel. Okay. We'll hit the cancel button. Okay, yeah. This is um, my toast is a little bit darker than I wanted. I had it set on four, so apparently this is a high heat toaster. Um, so if you like lighter toast, three, two, one settings. Stick it there. Uh, if you like your toast crispy, four, five, six, maybe not a ten, because then you eat charcoal. But, um, yeah. It is nicely browned on both sides. Has a nice crisp to it. It's a little hot there. Um, <laughs> And as, you know, we were talking about before, there is a nifty little tray back here um, where you can clean out your crumbs because they all fall to the bottom. So it makes cleaning a breeze. You can just rinse off that tray, pop it right back in. Um, the whole unit is light to the touch. It's not hot. You can touch it. Top, sides. I wouldn't obviously recommend touching the metal because that will be hot, but the whole of the rest of the unit you can handle easily. Um, overall, I really like this toaster. It's efficient. It does a great job. It's convenient for a small apartment like I live in. It's very small and compact. Fits on a countertop or underneath a cabinet. 
Um, and it does what it's supposed to. See toast. So uh, if you're looking for a new toaster, affordable version that's you know small, definitely give the iCock a try.